the only on-camera interview with this, what we will call now controversial lawmaker. Yeah, Republican Rick Bratton's bill is also controversial, and his defense of it has been even more so. He told Mother Jones magazine rape victims would be exempted only if they could prove they were victims of, quote, legitimate rape. In our interview, he walked back that statement, but otherwise defended his proposed bill amid a growing uproar. The last term. At his home office in Harrisonville, Representative Rick Bratton said he wrote House Bill 131 to protect the lives of unborn children and the rights of their fathers. With the, the women's movement uh, for equal rights, well, it's swung so far that, that we've now taken away um, uh, the man's right and, and the say of their child's life. His bill, filed earlier this month, requires a woman to obtain the written, notarized consent of an unborn child's father to get an abortion. Abortion rights in women's health groups have skewered the proposal. It's simply demeaning and degrading to women. We and most of the voters in Missouri believe that women can make their own decisions both about their lives generally and about their health care specifically. In a statement, Senator Claire McCaskill called the bill offensive and absurd. In our interview, Bratton held his ground. Do you see why some women might see that as, a, as offensive, that they might say, you know, what right does a man have to a decision about a woman's body? Well, it's not a woman's body with an abortion. It's a child's body. It's a child's life that's taken. The woman's life is not altered. Bratton did walk back his use of the term legitimate rape. He told us his proposed bill would not require women to prove they had been raped to be exempt from the consent requirement after all. A rape is a rape, and, and if that occurs, it's, it's horrible, and that's what the provision is provided in, in the language. Uh, so if it does occur, that, that by all means, if, if they seek that, then they can, they can do that. Bratton proposed this same bill last spring, but it died in committee. He said he expects a battle from what he calls the, quote, militant feminist movement, but that with GOP supermajorities in both chambers in Jefferson City, he's hopeful it will go much further this year. Reporting live, Garrett Hake, 41 Action News. And Missouri does have some of the strictest abortion restrictions in the country. Earlier this year, state lawmakers extended the abortion waiting period from 24 hours to 72 hours. And now to an update, we know the special prosecutor who will look into choking allegations against former city councilman Michael Brooks. Today, a